Hi guys, this is Elise, and I'm going to apologize now for the shakiness. I hope I can hold this steady. I'm holding my iPad because I want to show you um, the embellishment book that I finished for Nancy. Hi, Nancy. And by the time you see this video, Nancy will have her swap. And Nancy is Nancy Martinez here on YouTube. Super sweet lady. I recently found her channel. And the first video I saw was she was making some um, embellishments, just some just all kinds of embellishments and then I watched another video where she was doing some Tilda inspired embellishments and I wrote her and asked her if she was well with me because I saw something that she was making that I really really liked and you know I said well if you can swap with me I would be grateful and uh, she said yes and you know and I told her it was okay if she didn't um, you know it doesn't hurt to ask so anyway um, so we decided to do a swap an embellishment swap so I wanted to make her something a little different. So I made her an embellishment book and I'm going to just quickly guys show you guys what I put inside but you, like I said by the time you see this she will already have it because I want her to be able to see it first. So I'm going to apologize now to you guys because I'm doing this one handed. So I just tied some stretchy lace around it. I was going to try to put like a um, some eyelets here and in the back but that didn't work too well. So Anyway, I showed the front cover in one of my other videos. So here's the front cover. And I think it turned out really pretty. And this is one of the flowers that Vicki Tryhard67 made for me. Thank you, Vicki, again for that flower. And then I just added a bunch of doodads and a bunch of things and flowers and things for my stash. So that's the front cover. And I used the Tilda um, Corner Shop paper. So the first page, I added some of these really pretty flowers that I made. Here's a Vicki flower. And then these are two flowers with some trim that I had in my store with some little um, bling pieces in the middle and then I have at the bottom I think that's a little um, piece of Jolie flower at the bottom and then on this side I made some of those quilted um, hearts that I cut with the Daiso placemats and that's how I embellished those and I think they turned out really cute I hand stitched around and so I'm sending her some of those and then the next page I put this little pouch here and in the inside of the little pouch, I added a bunch of little embellished um, uh, mason jars. So those are really cute. Those turned out really cute. So those are just tucked in there. And then I didn't put anything on this page. This page right here, I have, and things are sort of laid out so that they don't kind of get, you know, get squished inside each other. This side here, I made her three glittery uh, rosettes. And those turned out really, really pretty. Lots of glitter. And then over here, I made these um, embellishments, and I took some of the metal pieces that I got from D. Hi, D. And also these crochet pieces also came from D. And then these are um, just some little uh, flowers that I got from, I believe these came from, um, I want to say Michael's. I think, maybe not. No, these came actually, I actually got these downtown. So I thought those turned out really pretty. And then this next page, um, I added some of my tool uh, flowers over here. Gave her a bunch of those. And then here, I just wanted to give her some millinery flowers. So I put this um, pretty trim here that I got from D. And then I just tucked flowers, different millinery flowers. And then this page right here, let me see if I can. I made two of the, um, uh, what do you call them? Gatsby flowers with trim and lace and um, seam binding and then I made a couple bottle caps with some of the Tilda paper I love the little bear turned out really cute make two of those and then here I put a couple more rosettes and then I added this piece of trim and then I added these little cabochons so all of this stuff can come out of the book so she can take this out see she can take this out you know very carefully she can you know detach it and she can use that on the project so those are the embellishments that I made for her and then let me show you guys the card um, and let me see if I can reach the card. Okay, I'm going to just turn for a second. Sorry, guys. Okay. All right. Okay, I know this video is just crazy, but anyway, we make it, we'll, we'll, make, we'll make it work. Okay, so let me just move this out of the way and show you the card that I made for her. So I made her a Tilda card, and here it is, and I think it turned out really pretty. And um, I used my, um, I found the, the image on the Internet. And I tried to use my silhouette to cut it, but my silhouette was acting kind of funny. It wouldn't cut. So I just fussy cut her out. And then that's one of the new wooden pieces from Michael's. And I just put glitter on it. 
That's a Seven Gypsies corner piece that I painted white. This is some trim from my store. And then I just added all these flowers. This is a stick pin that I had in my stash that someone gifted to me. Um, and then I just added some I Am Roses flowers, some Wild Orchid Crafts, some of these little um, cabochons that were in my stash, a little bit of millinery flowers. And I think that turned out really pretty. And then in the inside, um, I, I'm going to write her a note. And then I stamped the sentiment in the inside. And then on the back, I put my stamp with a little bit of gingham ribbon. So there's the card that I'm sending to her. And then I'm sending her a bunch of other little goodies. So, um, Nancy, I hope you love everything. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is a really fun swap. And I can't wait to um, see your video when you open everything. So thanks so much for agreeing to swap with me. And I will talk with you guys later. Bye.